Welcome back to the Bitcoin layer. Today's video breaks down the correlation between Bitcoin and the stock market. What is correlation? Correlation measures how different asset classes behave in relation to each other. Why do we care about correlation? It matters because when building investment portfolios consisting of stocks, bonds, and Bitcoin, investors seek a balance. They want to know that not all assets will go up and down with each other. They want asset classes that are inversely correlated. This means when they own stocks, they want to own something else that will go up when stocks go down and vice versa. For Bitcoin investors, correlation matters most because of Bitcoin's strong correlation with the stock market. Now, despite Bitcoin's strong relationship with equities, there are definitely some nuances that we want to explain. Now, let's first take a look at the Bitcoin layer's five-year correlation matrix. We have Bitcoin, the S&P 500, the dollar index, the two-year treasury yield, the 10-year treasury yield, 10-year yield, the break-even component, 10-year yield, the real yield component, CRB, which is a commodities index, and gold. So in this correlation matrix, what we're doing is we're looking at each one of these assets and seeing how it correlates with every single other asset in the universe. Now, looking down the diagonal of this correlation matrix, we can see the number one all the way through. Why does that happen? Because the correlation of any asset versus itself will always be one. But in every other part of the grid, we see a number that is not one. That is because each asset is correlated to a different degree with every other asset in this universe. The scale of correlation is from negative one to one. A correlation of one would mean two assets that are perfectly correlated with each other. And a correlation of negative one would mean two assets that are perfectly inversely correlated with each other. That means while one goes up, the other will always go down by the same amount. In the real world though, there is no such thing as perfect correlation or perfect inverse correlation. Instead, we have this scale of negative one to one. Now looking at these correlations, we can see the strongest correlation between any two assets over the last five years from this universe are the 10 year real yield and the two year nominal yield. Why is this relationship so strong? Well, we know that the two-year yield moves according to Federal Reserve expectations of interest rate policy, and the 10-year real yield responds to those changes in policy. We will break down more about real yields and their relationship with other asset classes in another video. But for today, we want to look at the second strongest correlated pair of this universe. And what is it? Bitcoin and the S&P 500. This means that the relationship between Bitcoin and stocks is one of the strongest across all of the assets within global macro. People might think that the dollar and gold have a very strong inverse relationship, and they do, but in this case, it's not as strong as the relationship between Bitcoin and the stock market. But wait, Bitcoin and stocks aren't always correlated, and there are definitely some nuances to this dynamic. Let's bring up this chart here. On the top panel, you see the price of Bitcoin over the last few years. And on the bottom panel, you can see the correlation between Bitcoin and the S&P 500. Now, this correlation that we're looking at right here is a 40-day correlation. That means we're looking back at the last 40 days and seeing how the price of Bitcoin behaves in relation to the price of the S&P 500. Look at the last several months. We can see a correlation that is very strong. Based on this chart, the last 40 days of Bitcoin in the stock market have been correlated above 70%. But look back at what happened at the beginning of the pandemic. Right before the pandemic started, the correlation between Bitcoin and the stock market was actually negative, And this flipped as soon as risks started to become under pressure as the pandemic caused governments to start shutting down economies all around the world. The correlation across risk assets skyrocketed and we see that Bitcoin and the stock market have had this very strong positive correlation ever since. But if you look at the period before, we can see that Bitcoin and the stock market were actually 
negatively correlated. Now, look at what happened in 2019. We saw Bitcoin rise from a level of about 3,000 to a level of about 12,000. Bitcoin quadrupled over this period, while the stock market was kind of chopping around. This sent the correlation between Bitcoin and stocks severely negative, and we can see that from this period, Bitcoin and the stock market are not always strongly correlated, especially when Bitcoin is doing one of its famous price pumps. What does this mean for Bitcoin investors? It means that we have to watch for the correlation of Bitcoin and the stock market declining in order for us to really see one of Bitcoin's famous price pumps. At that time, the specific supply dynamics of Bitcoin really take hold over the market, and we see the fundamentals of Bitcoin taking more importance than global macro factors. Right now, global macro is definitely in charge of risk assets, as we have inflation at multi-decade highs, the Fed severely tightening monetary policy, and the U.S. economy in what could be the third consecutive quarter of GDP contraction. When will the next decoupling be? And when will Bitcoin separate itself from the stock market in order to prepare itself for the next rise in price? We will be watching everything at the Bitcoin layer. Make sure to subscribe to our Substack at thebitcoinlayer.substack.com. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and make sure to stay tuned for lots more analysis on Bitcoin and how it fits in to the global macro picture. I wanna thank my sponsor, Voltage. Voltage is a great Bitcoin and Lightning Network infrastructure company that enables people and businesses to spin up their own nodes. I believe every business should be a Bitcoin player and have their own node. Make sure to check out Voltage today. Oh,